Good evening everyone and welcome back to another tutorial on Railcraft. Today we're going to be taking a look at two of the minecarts that are part of the Railcraft expansion or a mod. Uh, specifically we're going to look at the Undercutter cart and the Track Relayer cart. Uh, these are a couple of utility carts that can help with your rail maintenance and make things easier for you overall with, if you ever need to upgrade your system. So what we're going to do is uh, I've built a bit of a track running kind of all over the place here. Uh, makes kind of this great big loop around this uh, little hillside here. And what we're going to do, uh, right now it's just basic uh, track and it's all on snow. So we're going to go and we're going to upgrade this. So first we're going to put down the undercutter cart. Then we're going to put a chest cart next to it. And then we're going to put a track relayer cart. And finally we're going to put a furnace cart at the front. And now what we're going to do is we're going to link all of these carts together so that they all form one great big train. And now that we have those uh, connected, we need to configure them. So on the undercutter cart, it has a pattern where you put in the block that is underneath the track and what kind of block you want it to be replaced with. So we're going to replace snow with this crushed obsidian. And the options here are crushed obsidian and gravel as your, um, what they call a ballast material. And so we're going to use crushed obsidian just because it looks pretty cool. Now, when you have a big track or long track section like this, it's going to take more than 64 blocks to uh, finish that process. And you can only put one stack of the material directly in the cart or in the... Uh, yeah, in the stock for that cart. So by linking a chest cart directly adjacent to the uh, undercutter, we can put our stock material in that uh, chest cart, and it will automatically draw from that chest cart and update the, or uh, fill up the stock. And you can also see that when it replaced the uh, snow with the obsidian, it replaced it and put uh, the output, the snowballs, in the chest cart. So it will take the output and put it in that in the uh, chest here. Now the next thing we want is the track relayer. And this works kind of the, in a very similar fashion. So we take our source rail, which is just the basic track, and we're going to put reinforced rails in just because, well, that's the one I wanted to use. So, And then again, this works the same way. It has a stock in the cart itself, and it can also draw from a directly, adja oh, directly adjacent chest cart. So we're going to load up the uh, cart with a whole bunch of track, and now we're all set to go. You can see that the rail directly under the uh, track relayer has already been replaced, and we have one regular track in the uh, chest cart. And again, you can see the crushed obsidian under the track here. So now we're ready to send this guy on his way. We'll just load up some fuel, and you can see it go to work. So this, long, this uh, train is just going to keep running around this track, replacing blocks underneath and replacing the track with reinforced rail. And uh, this also will uh, demonstrate here in a minute. It also works. Uh, apparently, my chest card is full. Take a look here. Yep. Uh oh. Oh, I just uh, fell off. So, if your chest card gets too full, then you can see it just going to spit the items out uh, all over the side. But you can see it also works down the hills, it works around corners, and uh, basically will work wherever you need it to go. Wherever your tracks currently go, it will happily put blocks or put new blocks underneath and replace the track for you. And with the pattern, uh, if you had a long rail with booster rails and things like that in, in it, you could set up a pattern. You could hook up two track relayer cards, one of them set to replace the regular tracks and one set to replace the booster tracks. And it would happily, uh, one cart would take care of the regular rail and the second cart would take care of the other one. So 
and as we wrap around the corner back to our starting point, you can see it uh, makes that whole process pretty quick. Um, recipes are... It takes quite a bit of stuff for it to work. This is the undercutter cart, so it does take quite a bit of stuff for it to work, but if you have a lot of rail, it that could be very worthwhile to have. Then you see that the, the uh, furnace cart was able to pull it right back up the hill for us. And now, because there's nothing left to replace, it's just going to happily cruise on around again. Or at least until that furnace cart runs out of fuel. And then the track relayer cart is uh, another fairly expensive recipe. Um, but if you, at this point, if you have a expansive track setup, then you're probably not going to be too hard off for uh, the resources to make it. So... This has been a quick overview of how to use those track relayer carts and undercutter carts and what they can uh, accomplish in a very short period of time. Now you see that really didn't take very long for it to do that whole loop and that's... Uh, I don't know exactly how many sections of track that was, but... Oh, snowballs break carts. Interesting. Let me in. Let me in. Um... Yeah, so it took a good bit of rail to accomplish that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.